there can be changes in guidelines for virtual behavior. This video is not a substitute for thoroughly reading and understanding the guidelines rules. You are responsible for knowing and following all the virtual behavior essay India rules. This video is based on guidelines provided by SA India for virtual behavior 2015 and 2016. For last few years, SA India is dividing teams in two groups, old teams and new teams. Based on your groups, your presentation will be slightly different. If your college's team has participated in any of last two years' main Wahi event, then you are an old team. And here, participation means your team had cleared virtual Wahi event and got registered for main competition at Pithampur site. And if your college's team had not built a vehicle in last two years, either because you have not cleared virtual or any other reason, then you are a new team. Let's discuss about new teams. Last year, new teams had to make a presentation consisting of 12 slides. And those slides are shown on the screen. Let's discuss those slides in detail. Slide 1 Team ID and Collision. As it's quite clear, you have to add your team ID, which is provided by SA India this year, and your college name. And try to avoid details which are not asked. Slide 2 Technical specs and performance specs of proposed vehicle. In this slide, we have to write dimensions of the vehicle. Those dimensions are overall length and overall width, front and rear tag width, wheel width, and ground clearance. Overall dimensions of the vehicle are the dimensions of the smallest box in which your vehicle can fit in. Wheelbase is the distance between the centers of the front and rear wheels. And track width is the distance between center line of two road wheels on the same axle. The track width for front and rear wheels can be different, so we need to mention both. Ground clearance is the amount of clear space between the lowest part of the vehicle's frame and ground. After vehicle dimensions, we need to write about wheels dimensions and what type of wheels we are using. And then we have to write about overall performance of the vehicle. This will cover maximum speed of the vehicle, maximum acceleration of the vehicle, the gradability percent, and the stopping distance. We will cover all these quantities in slide number 8 power train. Now we have to cover weight of the vehicle. And we have to mention curb weight and laden weight. Curb weight is the weight of the vehicle without the driver, and laden weight is the weight with the driver. And we have to mention the ratio of front axle weight and rear axle weight. With this, we have covered slide number 2. Slide 3. Notice design process, ergonomics. In this slide, we have to describe the process of roll case designing. First, we have to select roll case material based on yield strength, bending strength, density, buildability, cost, and machinability of the material. Based on material you have selected, it can be AISI1018, AISI4130 or carbon fiber tubings. Calculate the required dimensional parameters of the material, which are outer diameter of the material and material thickness. For material selection calculations, check out my previous video. I have attached the link in the description. As you have selected material and its dimensional parameters, you have to find suitable joining method, which can be thick welding or MIG welding, etc. For joining process, select the filler material and to cover your vehicle, select a suitable body panel material. Now, design a CAD model of roll cage in any of CAD software following Baha SA India rulebook and using material dimensions we have calculated. Now use this model to measure angle of visibility and mention both solid angle of visibility and planar angle of visibility that will be the angle below horizontal line of sight. Distance between steering wheel and driver's chest. Distance between steering wheel and leg that will be the room for operation. Distance between driver knee, back part and seat front. Distance between driver's shoulder and steering Height of seat Angle of inclination of seat back 
This would be in range given in rule book. Slide 4 CAE Basic Process and its Application Before preparing this slide, we should be aware of what is the need for CAE activity and criteria to be used for material and size selection. We should be aware of material mechanical properties which are yield strength, tensile strength and elocution percent. We have dealt with these properties earlier. We should be aware of equivalence of chosen material vis-a-vis recommended material. You should know about chemical composition of the material you have selected and what are the buildability risks. You should also know about the proposed factor of safety and maximum deformation which can be allowed. CAE process To perform FEA that is finite element analysis you have to choose mass size wisely. Since it plays an important role in process, it decides the accuracy of results and analysis time. Then, you have to choose method of analysis. You can choose beam method in which your roll gauge members will be treated as solid beams. Or you can choose cell method where they will be treated as hollow pipe. Beam method is easy and time saving. But cell method gives quite accurate results. Now, choose the solver. You can choose ANSYS, HyperMesh, SOLIDWORKS or any other software package. They all have good solvers for your purpose. We have to study the following rules. Central and rear crash test, side crash test, rollover, frontal and rear bump test. And for each test, there are seven methods for calculating impact force. Let's discuss two of them. Now, using this method, calculate G-force, where G equal to mass into initial velocity upon impulse time. For different test tests, we have to apply different multiple G-force. I would like to suggest 4 G-force for front impact test, rear impact test and side impact test, and 2 G-force for both bump test and rollover test. Let's see where to apply forces and constraints for different cases. For front crash test, apply force at front of your vehicle and constraint at rear suspension points. For rear crash test, apply force at rear of your vehicle and constraint at front suspension points. For side crash test, apply force at one sim and constraint at another sim. For front bump test, apply force at front suspension points and constraint at rear suspension points. For rear bump test, apply force at rear suspension points and constraint at front suspension points. For rollover, apply force at FBM and constraint at rear suspension points. 